Okay, Delta0125 here again for YouTube. Um, I'm in my internals again. This is supposed to be a guide for newer people, but anyways. These are the G3 and the M4's uh, piston and, well, not piston, but uh, cylinders. This one's is the M4's and this one's is the G3's. You can see what I mean by a smaller air hole on the side. So, yeah. Um, I replaced the nozzle head on mine. It's got a little bit more area for air, so hopefully I'll get a little bit more compression out of that and whatnot. Um, I decided not to cut the tooth off my piston because uh, it doesn't seem that it'd be like a likely place to break, although it may. But then again, that's not going to matter because in the future I'm going to get a metal tooth piston anyways. And that'll be like the near future. That, and I'm going to probably get a silent piston head or something. But, um, so yeah. I was going to go ahead and put the gearbox back together here in a few seconds and make the part 3 video. Um, now, the uh, way to keep this little anti-reversal latch in place when you have the gear in there to keep the, uh, keep the gear from popping out, there's a nice little way that I found, which is once you get it into place and everything, you take like a pair of uh, pliers like these and just lay them over the top of it like so. And then when you go and put your spring back in and have the screwdriver in it and all that and you push it back in and get it into place, take your two fingers and you lay it, well, take sort of like your ring finger, stick it on there, stick one on your spring, stick another on your cylinder, and then when you put the top back over, you take your other hand while your other hand's there and you basically stick them through the two holes where you stick this one on the spring itself and you spring, uh, yeah, you take this one and stick it on the cylinder and then with your thumb you just press the uh, top of the gearbox down over this and these pliers should move out of the way but if not you shouldn't have any trouble pulling those out and then once everything's back together like so um, you basically can take like a uh, precision screwdriver like the one I used to take off all these Allen heads screws and whatnot. You can actually maneuver them in these little holes right here that are meant to uh, see where your wires are and whatnot and your motor and you can mess around with the uh, bevel gear and the anti-reversal latch and if you need be the um, sector gear and whatnot which you I'm not sure how you would get to the sector gear but um, basically, yeah, you could just maneuver these points, which are meant to go into your gearbox up here, like this one right here is for your, uh, anti-reversal latch, and that one's for your bevel gear. You just maneuver these little parts in here around until they pop into place. And then when you lower your gearbox, keep in mind that your, um, tappet plate will still be like so over this little, over this little notch in your gearbox. It'll still be like that. And what you do is you take... A precision screwdriver of like uh, let's see 1.5 millimeter size and what you do is you take it and you stick it down the front of the gearbox and press in until you hear a pop or a click which will be your sector gear give me a second your sector gear will be pushed back because the uh, front of the sector gear up here when you push it back it'll push back and it will go right over that and you should hear it pop over that little part because, uh, here's my bushing again. I hate those little parts. Where's my. There it is. Damn shim. Anyways, these parts are a pain in the ass sometimes, I know. Ah! Sometimes it's easier to do this with your fingers than it is with a tool. There we go. And then my bushing. Anyways, um, yeah. So, when your tablet plate's in there, it should look something like this, except with the little spring down there actually on your tablet plate. And that noise, when you push back is actually your tappet plate popping over that little piece. What the hell is going on here?
anyways, yeah. When you push back on your tappet plate, it should pop over that, and you should hear like a click or a popping noise, and that'll be your uh, tappet plate being in place to catch the sector gear. If you have a sector gear clip there, it'll take a little bit of force, but you can pull that little bronzish golden piece off. I have mine in the big parts bag. I'm not going to dig it out. But, um, yeah, I pulled that off because it's getting really annoying. But, yeah, when you push back on this, it should just pop into place, and uh, you can tighten all of your gearbox screws back down and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, once you got all of that tightened, um, let's see... What else was I going to say? Oh, yes, make sure your wires are obviously out of the way before you tighten anything down. Um, once you tighten everything down and everything's in place and all that, um, tighten your gearbox down, stick it back into your uh, the lower receiver of your gun, or if it's a G3, stick it back into the, uh, I don't know, I guess uh, the trigger assembly piece, you should call it or whatever. And uh, stick everything back together. Use a uh, motor. I'm using a... JG super high power motor in mine, which is actually just a high torque motor because the black one would not pull the spring because that is more of a turbo motor made for like an M110 spring or lower. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna stick everything back together now, hopefully get it working, and hopefully have it out of game this summer. Um, and I'm possibly getting an MP5, I'm still working on that. Um, if I don't get an MP5, I'm still looking for an M4, M16. So, yeah, that's my old spring in the bag there. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, so I might make a part three of this video when I stick my motor and everything in. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yes, and all the tools you'll need are your screwdrivers. Allen head keys, uh, precision screwdriver, screwdriver, or screwdriver, whatever. Um, I got a jewelry set of pliers, which are needle nose pliers. Those come in really handy for that little spring up there by the tappet plate. And, uh, a couple of other small parts. That and your, uh, regular size pliers. But the, uh, super glue trick is only for the top part of the spring on the, um, anti-reversal latch, which is so it would quit coming off there. Um, the paper tape trick is for the bottom of the anti-reversal latch so it doesn't move forward so fast. Because um, if it moves forward too fast, you're going to pop your bevel gear out and that'll really piss you off. And the duct tape trick is for the uh, bushings to stay in place on the gearbox if your gearbox is like that. Um, and the uh, precision screwdriver trick, everyone should probably know that that's experienced with gearboxes for the uh, tablet plate. So I'm going to stick this back together now. Uh, Delta 0125, signing out.